Hi, this is a demo of the Music Circles app. Uh, this is an app that can help you understand and learn about musical keys, modes and chords. It's like an interactive reference to the basics of uh, Western music theory. So the idea is that you get all of the 12 available semitones, that's all the notes available in the traditional scales, around in a circle of fifths. So there's five notes between each of the circles. So between C and G there's five, G and D there's five. And you go all around until you go back to C. This is a bit of an odd way, but it uh, turns out it has very useful features. So for example, if you think of the C major scale uh, on a piano keyboard, you will have all the white keys and some black keys in between. But if you organize it by circle of fifths, you will see that the active notes here, the ones that are darker, are actually the white notes, the notes that are part of the scale, and the inactive notes are there. This would be the black keys uh, in this case. So the circle of fifths groups together all the notes in the scale. So uh, how do you use music circles? This is the first mode, the signature mode, where you can uh, find out what the key signature in traditional notation for a particular uh, key is. For example, if I go to D, there's a key signature for D, two sharps. Or if I go to B, that's B major, there's five sharps. So you can quickly find out the key signature of any, of any uh, uh, scale. For example, uh, if you want to find out um, how the C major scale goes, you can click the Show Scale Degrees button, and a little number will pop up underneath and that will guide you around the order. So this is uh, the way it goes. There's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, oops, number six, and number seven. So that's the way it's, it's, it's organized. You can even turn on the sound by clicking the sound button and making it active. And you can listen to the scale. You can also change the mode of the scale. We're, right now we're seeing C major. If you click there, you will be able to select the mode. Let's see C minor. There's C minor. You can see that the, that the active notes have changed. They've gone to this side. Um, so let's hear the C minor scale. There it is. So that's the first signature mode, where you can uh, see just the scale notes. If you go to the second mode, the chords, you'll be able to see what chords are formed from any particular scale. So in this case we're in C minor, and you can see these are the minor chords around C, and these are the major chords, uh, and this is the last diminished chord. Let's go to a major uh, mode. You can see there, everything's changed again with the uh, notes, uh, with the uh, chords belonging to the particular scale uh, activated. And you can see that because of the, the circle of fits, the chords will be organized in a very particular way. So you'll have the tonic there, the subdominant there, and the dominant there. Which is very convenient because they're very related. Uh, and it, another interesting thing is that if you count three steps clockwise, you will find the relative minor. So A minor is the relative minor of C. But that will happen for, everyone, for every other chord. If you go there, F to D, G to E minor. So you can quickly jump from one to another. There's another two big buttons there. One is a dominant 7 button. If you click it, you can find the dominant 7 of any chord in the scale. So let's say we want to find the dominant 7 of G. Just click it, and there, there it is, D7. And this other button uh, toggles between major and minor, so it turns all major chords minor and all minor chords major. So you can use it for things like this. F minor. Uh, you can also use this mode to transpose, so you have a, a tablature or a score, and you know the chords like that, C, A, F, G. Just remember the shape you played, and if you go to another chord, another key, for example, let's say B flat, yeah, you just play the same shape. That's it. If you want to find out the Roman numerals in traditional harmony, um, in classical harmony, 
just show scale degrees, toggle the show scale degrees button and you'll find the Roman numeral under each of the keys. Finally the third mode is the keyboard where you will find an octave where the chords are shown. So if you just press that will also be available for dominant chords. So you can see all those. And if you notice there's a big red circle, that's the root note. Since we're showing just a single octave so that you know which is the root note of the chord. Finally, there's a little trick. If you don't want to listen to the chord, just see what it looks like. You can just drag towards the middle and it'll change the chord without making it sound. That's also useful if you're not having sound. Remember, if you don't have sound, clicking just changes the key. But if you just drag towards the inside, you will be able to see the chord without uh, changing the key. Okay, so that's it. That's Music Circles. Hope you enjoyed the demo.